Thanks for tuning in to what's happening in and around Grace Church. Personally, I am just so glad to be back with you and to be able to link arms and to pray and to grieve with and to move ministry forward as we aim to honor and glorify the Lord in all that we do. And on our way home, we were actually able to stop in Ironwood, Michigan and visit Woodland Church and get to see the building that's there and what their context looks like. And I just want to remind you to be in prayer for Woodland Church, that this is a beautiful season where we get to partner with them. They're tuning in, they're watching our live stream, they're partaking in our teaching sermons uh, in their pursuit of the Lord in their desire to grow in the faith, to be challenged, and to draw near to him. And it's a beautiful opportunity for them where they don't have a lead pastor in this time, where their elders are weary and they can have rest. They can just have set aside time where they come and they worship God and they don't have to worry about all of the logistics of things that need to be done. And so this is a great opportunity for them to just feel and know the presence of God and that he is with them and to be filled with his spirit so that they can go out and reach that community. So I want to encourage you to pray for them in that way. And interestingly, I want to pray for you in the same way because that's actually the posture that Moses takes with the Lord as he's leading the people through the wilderness. There's this point where Moses says to the Lord in Exodus 33, Lord, if you're not going to go with us, then we're not going to go at all. If your presence doesn't go with us, then we're not going to go because it's your presence that gives us what we need. It's your presence that provides food, that provides direction, that provides victory over these uh, enemy threats that come against us. It's your presence that makes us distinct as a people group and separates us from the world around us. And if your presence won't be with us, why would we go from here? And the Lord says, my presence will go with you and you will find my rest. And it's this beautiful promise that we in the New Testament get to claim that the Holy Spirit lives in us. And so matter, no matter what stress, no matter what anxiety is before us and what is happening in our lives, we can turn to the Lord and we can find rest in his presence. We can be filled with the power of his Holy Spirit. We can find him in his word. And so my question for you is, how are you growing in your reverence for God? How are you intentional about spending time that is set aside where you have nowhere else to go, nothing else to do, and you are coming before the Lord just seeking after who he is? First of all, it's right to worship God this way. He is worthy of that type of focus and worship. Secondly, there are so many times in my life personally and in the lives of friends, other believers, where there are high, high amounts of stress, high amounts of anxiety, there are all these tasks that we need to do and we're concerned that they're not going to get done and there's all this buildup and we get overwhelmed. The solution to that isn't actually finishing the task. The solution to that is setting aside a time to be with the Lord. And when we are with the Lord, walking in a right relationship with Him, seeking Him the way that He is worthy of, what we find is much of that stress, much of that anxiety, much of that overwhelmed feeling actually departs from us because we're walking in relationship with him the way that he's called us. And I think that's significant for the season that we're in. We are in a season where we're gearing up for the fall, where all of our ministries are about to take off. Women's ministry is getting ready for all of the Bible studies, for mentorship, for all of the ways in which we're aiming to build up and cultivate women in the church. Men's Bible studies are getting ready. The, the ongoing ministry portion that takes place there is getting ready for this fall. Our youth ministry is gearing up. Grace Kids is gearing up. We're all getting ready and we're going to enter into a church-wide study through the book of Hebrews starting in September. And so we're gearing up for what the Lord has for us. And before we start to move, would you pray? Would you ask the Lord to be present with us, that we would all be filled with the power of the presence of his Holy Spirit? So that as we move, as we interact with people around us, it wouldn't be out of our strength, it wouldn't be out of our cleverness, but it would be out of his power, out of his will, out of his 
desire for Grace Church to grow and to be a healthy community of believers who are united for reaching the people in Delta County. So would you pray with me that the Lord would go before us and that as we aim to do ministry, that we would find the blessing of the comfort and the joy and the power in his presence and that we would just worship him as the one who is worthy. I am excited to worship with you on Sunday. Thanks for tuning in today.